Hey guys, my name is Robert. A few weeks ago, I discovered an open source app called TypeJoy. And what this app does is that it plays keyboard sounds when you type. This is not a new idea. TypeJoy itself was inspired by Clack, which I think is probably the best in the game for this. But when I found this open source app, I saw potential for something more. Even though my coding skills are pretty basic, with the help of AI, I decided to dive into this project. I fixed a few bugs, changed some of its core functionality, and I added some new features. I think the result is much more flexible and user-friendly than the original, especially when it comes to integration with Alfred, as I have done. This is at the point where you can easily integrate with other similar applications. So if you can do that or want to do that, feel more than welcome to do so. Okay, let me introduce you to Taptics, the Alfred workflow that I'm sharing with you today. If you have Alfred and enjoy the sound of mechanical keyboards, then you may want to check this out. For the rest of this video, by the way, any keyboard and mouse sounds will come from Taptics. You can always get the latest version from GitHub, where you will find an extended version of the documentation and access to the source code if you want to take a look behind the scenes. As I mentioned, Taptics isn't just keyboard sounds. It also includes mouse sounds. It plays both down and up key events separately. And the keys, except for return and spacebar, are randomized for a more realistic feel. When you first install Taptics in Alfred, you will see this welcome configuration. And these are the settings that will be used every time that you initialize Taptics. I suggest that you leave the defaults for now until you become a little bit more familiar with how the workflow works, your favorite sounds, or your preferred settings. You can always go back there by right-clicking here and then select configure. Since Taptics is a small application and I am not a developer and I do not have an official developer account, you will probably see a warning that will not let you run the workflow right away. So you need to authorize Taptics. To do that, you go here in Alfred, right click, open in Finder, and in Finder, you will simply right click on Taptics and select open. Then you will see a small window that will give you the option of open and Terminal will try to activate Taptics unsuccessfully. And it's totally okay. It just means that you already authorized it. You can just close this. I am so sorry for this inconvenience. The other way that you can do this is actually compile the application yourself. And there's instructions for that on GitHub. But I think that this is easier. The real power of Taptics, as I mentioned, lies in its integration with Alfred. You can control it with keywords, with keyboard shortcuts. I like to use it with Apple Script. And once it's active and running, you have all of these options that you can change on the go. And since I'm here, I want to show you that when you want to change the volume, if you press and hold Command, you can set the volume of the keyboard alone. And if you press and hold Option, you can set the volume of the mouse alone. This is useful because some mouse sounds like um, right now I'm using the magic mouse sound, but let's say that I want to change it to the Master 3S and the Master 3S, which is actually this mouse that I have here, is supposed to be more quiet than usual. So in that case, I can just go back here and bring it down to like three, a little bit more in balance. The same with some keyboards. Some keyboards have a little bit more muted sound and you may want to adjust that depending on the combination of mouse keyboard that you have. Another feature that stands out is the ability to use your own custom sounds. I have to make a parenthesis here and say that to be completely honest, I am an absolute beginner when it comes to mechanical keyboards. I mean, I recorded some sounds from my personal devices. And I did my best to look for some of the best free and high quality sounds that I could find. But a lot of you guys are much more picky and have much more experience in this than me. And that is why I try to make this not so much about the sounds, but about the user experience and interaction with the workflow. This way you can easily create and use your own sound packs. All this to say that if you're a keyboard enthusiast with high quality stereo recordings, please feel free to contribute. I will make sure to give you credit if your sounds are included in the workflow. To use your own sounds, you have to first deactivate Taptics, then go back here to your configuration screen. You will select a folder and save. 
Now, the moment that you activate Taptix, see what happens. A folder for keyboards and a folder for mice were created, and inside each one, there's one sample pack. So you can go in keyboards and knock free light and replace all of these files with your own. There's only nine key down sounds and nine key up sounds. So it's super, super simple. And after you do that, you can, of course, uh, change this name, my sound pack. You can duplicate this folder, make a different sound pack, and don't forget that you have to go back in Alfred and change this name to the name that you gave to your folder. This video is just meant to be an overview. I highly recommend checking out all the documentation on GitHub to make the most out of this workflow. Taptics is great for when I'm writing while listening to soft music with my headphones on. And it's also very helpful for screen recording videos or walkthroughs like this one because the mouse and keyboard sounds make them feel more alive. I don't suggest that you use this with Bluetooth headphones, by the way, because Bluetooth will introduce some extra lag. I really hope that you find this useful and fun. Remember that that contributions are totally welcome. Make sure to follow my newsletter for weekly updates on what I'm up to, apps that I'm excited about, articles that I'm reading, films that I'm watching, or projects that I'm currently working on. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you soon.